allowed in this tournament and my hat is off to Will for coming up with that excellent and very creative solution there to pull ahead and to get the right answer. And uh, Eric, uh, Aaron C in the chat, I love this, this, uh, this comment here. Aaron C says, Eric, you've totally got this. Fast is smooth and smooth is slow. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That was great, Eric. Pull schmoll. Yeah. But here we go. This matchup between these two epic titans, Erwick from Canada on the left running on shape and Will from Brazil on the right running SolidWorks begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? This part is made from 1060 aluminum alloy. It's got a density of 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. This is a tier four challenge. Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture. We see Will from Brazil is already in there modeling and Airwick is getting going as well here. Here we go. Who is going to pull this down? Who is going to create this model first and calculate the mass correctly. We see Airwick on the left, running on shape entirely in a browser, starting out with this rectangle. Looks like it's about 103 by 13. We see Will from Brazil on the right has already created two rectangles and is already turning that into the first solid extrusion, drawing first blood, as we say, using some equations right there in SolidWorks. I like that. I like that use of equations right in the extrude box. Very, very clever. Very, very smooth, smooth operation there. We see that Will from Brazil is now creating the taper here on the front of the model, while Airwick on the left, running on shape, is still creating the layout geometry. So let's see if that layout work pays off. He's listening to Aaron C's advice. He's going nice and smooth. That's how you got to do it. Smooth is fast, as they say. So he's got all this geometry laid out here now. Let's see if OnShape is able to turn that geometry into solid features. Can we go from 2D sketch into solid features? We see him going around trying to select these. Looks like maybe struggling a bit to select them, but okay, he's got them all selected. Now he's gonna be turning that into solid geometry. We see Will from Brazil on the right is already attacking the center section of this model. He's done with that wing sticking out the one side. He's getting in here, creating the center section. We see the Airwick on the left. Maybe it looks like he forgot a sketch line there that he wanted to include in that first sketch. Oh, that way he can just include that right away in that first feature. Very cool how he was able to get in and edit that sketch and add that feature in on shape. We see Will from Brazil on the right, creating this model, going through. Looks like really nice use of contour selection there from Will from Brazil. Very nice use of contour selection there. I like it, I like it. And we see Airwick on the left trying to come up with this next feature, this kind of wing tapered out feature it looks like he's going to be creating here. A little bit of a tricky model here. Uh, we've got, you know, as always, these models, they're not meant to be easy. They're meant to be challenging. They're meant to kind of test your ability to pivot a little bit. We've got this uh, circular boss that Will from Brazil is working on on the right. Uh, that sticks out a little bit further than the rest of the model. I think that that could definitely cause uh, cause some of our runners to maybe get a little bit lost. They're trying to go through and figure out what, what needs to be done to get that to stick out. But it looks like Will from Brazil was able to create that feature. He was able to get that geometry. And it looks like he's created half the model. So I suspect we're going to see some type of a, a mirror here momentarily. But oh, maybe he's got something else in mind. Oh, of course. Yeah, we've got this kind of centered area, which Airwick already has on his model. I mean, Airwick on the left is looking like he's basically done with one quarter of the model. Are we going to see this kind of doubled mirror? I got a feeling we're going to see answers coming in here any moment from both of our runners. And this is going to come right down to the wire. Let's make sure that we're ready here in the admin booth. Let's see what they end up doing with this model. Oh, but Airwick going back and making a, a change to an earlier section of his model. Uh, maybe he, he didn't like the way something looked there. I see some underdefined sketch geometry. You know, we never like seeing that. Is this going to open the door for Will from Brazil to come in with this final mirror? What type of mirror is he going to create? A body mirror using the merge option. That looks like a completed model to me. Who is going to come in with the answer first here? Who's going to come in with the correct answer as well? That's really the more important question. Will from Brazil coming in 1619. That is not correct. 1619 incorrect. 
1619 is not correct. Will from Brazil may need to go through and refine his answer. Airwick coming in with the answer. 1606 grams. And that is correct. And wow, 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 guys. What a battle. We could have been watching the finals there between those two. What a couple of competitors. What a comeback for a seeming comeback there from Airwick. I thought Airwick was behind, was behind, was behind. And he was able to just come through there, follow Aaron C's advice. I'm going to give Aaron C the assist on that one. Uh, Aaron C does get half a point there for assisting with his excellent advice. And wow, wow, wow. Good game to both of our runners. What a match. What a victory.